Hi grade fives, welcome to your first recorded math lesson. Today's lesson title is Recognizing and Creating Equivalent Fractions. Our learning intentions and success criteria are, I am learning to develop number sense so that I can demonstrate an understanding of fractions. I'll know I have it when I can recognize and create fractions that describe the same amount. Okay, so um, first of all, let's talk about some definitions. So the definition of a fraction is a numerical quantity that shows a part of a whole or a part of a set. So an example would be if you only have your salt shaker, you would have half of your salt and pepper set, not a whole set. And that numerical quantity would be this 1 over 2 right there. Okay, um, equivalent fractions um, kind of reminds you of the word equal, is a fraction that represents the same part of a whole or the same part of a set. So the example would be that 1 half is equivalent to 2 over 4. And right here is an image to show you that that's the same. So in our first pie piece, we have two pieces, and one of them is colored in green. In our second piece, we have four pieces all together, and two of them are colored in green, but if you look at the two images, the same amount is colored in. So that would mean those are equivalent fractions. I'm just chatting a little bit more about equivalent fractions. Let's compare one half and, and two quarters. Those are some different ways to say those fractions, by the way. We can say one over two, we can say one half, or for two over four, we can also say two quarters. Okay, and one way that you can tell that these fractions are equivalent fractions is because if we multiply the first one by two, we end up with one times two equals two, and two times two equals four. And the same would work if we were to divide by two. Two divided by two equals one, and four divided by two equals two. And so we end up with one half again. Um, these are called fraction strips, and they're a really good way to see equivalent fractions. So for example, you can see that one half is equivalent to two quarters. So here we've got one quarter and one quarter. Okay, we could also see that another equivalent fraction would be three over six. So we've got three sixths here. Okay, another equivalent fraction again would be four over eight, these are eighths. And you can tell that, it, that the bottom number, which is also called the denominator, um, is an eight in this case because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. And the number of pieces that you are looking at, so in this case we're looking at four pieces, is the, is the numerator. which is the number that's on the top. Um, okay, so really quickly in your head, because obviously we are um, not able to talk to each other about this, which is unfortunate, but it's just the way it has to be. Um, I would like you to think about um, what an equivalent fraction would be for, um, let's do an equivalent fraction for one over four. So this piece right here, what would an equivalent fraction of that be? Take a minute and think about that. Okay, so on our fraction strips, there are actually um, two other fractions that are equivalent to one over four. And the first one is two over eight right here. And you can tell it's equivalent because it takes up the same amount of space as one over four. Okay, think about what the other one might be. Okay, so the other one is actually three over 12. 
because it, again, takes up the same amount of space as 1 over 4 and 2 over 8 does. So we know that 1 over 4 is equivalent to 2 over 8, which is equivalent to 3 over 12. And again, you can check your math with that by doing 1 times 2 and 4 times 2, and, it gets, and you get 2 over 8. Or you can do 1 times 3 and 4 times 3. 1 times 3 is of course 3 and 4 times 3 is of course 12. Okay so I have loaded a PDF of fraction strips onto um, Google Classroom so that you can take a look at that and that can help you out with your worksheet today. Your worksheet is called Recognizing and Creating Equivalent Fractions. It's on Google Classroom. It is due tomorrow, please. Um, but please feel free to call me on Zoom anytime between 8 and 4 today or early tomorrow morning if you need anything else.